Hey guys, this is John Westbrook over at uh, ETH Advisor, um, ETH Advisor on Twitter and ETHAdvisor.com uh, on the website on the web. If you want to check out um, my website and some of the stuff I have going on there, some of the training material and, and things like that that I'm creating and and have out there already. Um, so one of my favorite projects is Komodo and. Uh, with the news uh, and, you know, this last over the last course of the couple of weeks, um, the ongoing conversation of atomic swaps and barter decks and all this cool stuff. Um, I just wanted to throw together a quick video to show you how to actually get a hold of barter decks and put it on your system and try it out. And um, some people are a little overwhelmed by command line or things like that and looking at you know a, a text screen on github might be a little bit intimidating when you look when you come to this website and you see this a lot of people get intimidated so um so i wanted to put this video together just to kind of walk you through how simple it is to get this up and running and i'm doing this on linux um you know i i do recommend running it and doing all your cryptocurrency stuff on Linux, and I use Ubuntu for it. You can do the same, um, you know, it's it's a great operating system. It's free, of course, and very robust and just tons of advantages, but we're not talking about Linux today, so I don't wanna to get too far into that. Um, but this is, uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to do it on, on Linux, specifically Ubuntu, which is a Debian um, uh, type of, or flavor, whatever you want to call it. So if you have Debian or something similar, it should be should be the same kind of commands. So basically, um, what we're going to do is is go to their GitHub, which is found on Komodo's website. Under if you look under technology and barter decks, you'll actually um, you'll see a link to their GitHub. And once you're over there, um, and I, by the way, I do recommend always following through for things like this, if you're looking for software from a specific site or a wallet or something like that, remember to always get it from directly from the creator, from the developer. And the best way to do that is following their links, their website. You could even follow their website from their Twitter, you know, and then um, end up here and then follow over to their GitHub just so that you're not accidentally find stumbling into a scammy site that you've found in a Google search or something like that. And there's just so many out there these days. So um, just to be safe, you know, always always go through the, the, the publisher's website. Anyway, um, so once you're here at Get, GitHub, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see under Barterdex app, they give you the little setup um, steps right here. So we're just gonna go through these steps and I'll show you how to get it going pretty seamlessly. Um, they do really quick before I get into it. Um, if you scroll down a little further, they talk about testing this and getting the Komodo native wallet, getting the Monet's native wallet, and so forth. So that is the, the the way to if you want to really test this thing out, if you really want to use it, make sure you've downloaded the actual official wallets and you're running the full wallet, which takes a little longer to sync, obviously, um, but it is the preferred way to um, to get things rolling once you're up and up and running and you have a few coins that you want to be trading with um, the best way to do it is just have all those wallets on your system and and then put barter decks on your system and you're you're good to, to go but i'll show you how to get it up to where you can actually open it up and and test it pretty easily and pretty quickly um, without installing all the wallets so uh first step is we just need to get the required um, software here so we're gonna we're gonna do that we're gonna install get if you don't have it already which um, again in Ubuntu or Debian systems you're you're gonna type sudo space apt space install and then space get git and um, we're just gonna say yes we don't we do want to continue most of these things will install pretty quick they're not super huge files so the whole process should be just a few minutes. And then once that's installed, we're going to do the same thing for node.js. We're going to say sudo apt install node.js. And again, say yes. And then lastly, um, we're going to install npm. And um, I know it's not, it doesn't show it under required here, but it is, uh, it is a necessary step to getting at least with my from my particular version of Ubuntu, it it wants it, which I'm running 17.10, I believe. 
So we're going to say sudo apt install npm and again say yes and continue. And once that finishes, um, I'm going to be in my home folder where I've been working. And so I'm going to go ahead and copy this in advance before that thing's done. So we're just going to copy this line that where it says get clone and it has the URL to clone. And so I'll copy that, jump back over to my terminal. And I'm in my home folder, which you can tell by that little squiggly line right there. And I'm just going to paste that link or that whole line of code and then press enter. And that didn't work. <laughs> okay, because I already did this. Um, so let me just do this really quick. There we go. All right, so that way we can see the process. Oops. Okay, so I put that in, I hit, I hit enter, and it's going to download. As you can see, it downloads a folder called Barterdex, and I've done this before. And so once that's finished downloading, you're just going to go into that folder. So CD and BAR, I'm just going to hit tab, which will finish typing it for me. And then I'm in the folder. And from inside the folder, I'm going to say get space pull. And it says it's up to date, so that's good, obviously, because I just installed it. So then I'm going to say get space checkout space v0.8. And it says it switched to the new branch. And now I'm going to say npm install. And this step may take a little bit longer on your system. It really depends. Um, I think it's going to go a little faster on mine because I've... Uh, I have done this before and I think there are things that I didn't clean up when I <laughs> removed that folder, but uh, regardless, it's uh, it's not a super long process. And then once that's finished and you see a screen like this, then you just simply put in npm space start. And of course you can turn that into a shortcut um, and run it from your desktop or whatever. but. Uh, I like doing it this way because I, I can see what's going on in the background here. I can always look back over at the terminal and it kind of gives me a running, almost like a log, you know, a running log of what's happening. So once you're inside here, um, obviously you can import your, your wallets in and things like that. We're just going to say generate a new passphrase um, just for testing purposes. And I'm just going to copy this and paste it in. And there we go. So now once you're in... Um, it should look something like this, where you just have your uh, your dashboard and um, it doesn't really show anything yet. So I'm going to add some coins. So I'm going to add Komodo, obviously, and I want to show you what happens if I if I leave it in um, native mode and I hit I tell it to add. It comes up with a little message that says cannot find the installation of the coin. So what that means is again, this is talking about the wallet being on your computer, and that's what they're kind of referring to here is is make sure you have Komodo native wallet first and that sort of thing. So there is a way to do this without doing that first. If you want to just play around with it and test it. Um, once you're at the screen to add the coin, you just click on native mode and it will switch to Electrum mode and then hit enable and it will go ahead and add that coin. And then I'm going to go ahead and add um, Bitcoin as well. And I'll switch to Electrum mode. And again, you'll notice in the background um, while this is happening, this little guy keeps kicking out text that keeps showing you what's happening in the background. Um, sometimes it does go a little slow on some of these. I'm not sure if that's just exclusive to the way I'm adding these coins um, or if it's just the fact that this is so such new software, you know, I mean, we're, we're right at the beginning of things. So um, it's uh, it, we still have yet to see adoption and a lot of people using it and it, um, uh, getting to that stage where it's actually a little speedier. But regardless, a way to kind of what I've noticed to kind of kick it out of that situation, make it make it show the coins a little quicker is just adding another coin. So I'm going to add chips, which is another coin tied with them with the Komodo people and see if that helps it. Um, if not, you know, you, you obviously just patience is key. So there we go. Um, so now we see Bitcoin, we see Komodo, we see chips, and you'll notice the prices are all relative to Komodo. So Komodo obviously is one because it's itself. 
Um, and then all these other prices that it will show are in relation to it. Um, since Komodo's, you know, really it is a great way to, to be able to trade between coins using it um, for a lot of reasons, which I won't get into in this video. But, but that's pretty much it. That's the, the basics of getting it up running. Um, very simple, very quick and easy. And you can kind of play around with it. You can see some coins here. You can jump over to the exchange, um, see some, some prices, some actual coins that are out there and, you know, look at the chart and play around with it. Um, and yeah, that's it. Um, if you jump back over to dashboard, one other thing is if you want to, for example, if I want to receive, I can send coins into my wallet using this. And, um, again, you can, you can use this as really how it's working in this form with the Electrum is, is not the same as it would work with a native wallet. And that's the preferred way is to have my wallet installed. So I'm actually trading from my wallet right into, right into the exchange, into the decentralized exchange. Um, yeah, so that's it. Hopefully that was helpful and helps anybody who's stuck and just wanting to get it up and run it and see how it works. And, um, I'm going to be playing around some more with it today and just figuring out how to add coins that I want to add that aren't in this list. Um, so I'll try to report back on that. If I get to a point where I, where I see some progress with it, um, specifically, I want to play around with, um, Ethereum doing Ethereum trades or atomic swaps. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that and, um, I'll share more as I figure it out. Thanks. Thanks for watching.